Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think uh, we did a good job against the starter. I think we were supposed to, you know, get the ball up on him. He throws a great job throwing low in the zone, and so we just had to push him up. And when we did, you know, we got him out of the game and did some damage. What was, what was Jay telling you guys as far as trying to work that pitch count on him? Yeah, uh, you know, early in the count, we were just trying to get our pitch, um, and as the counts got deeper, you know, just keep battling them, uh, just force them to throw the ball up in the zone. How big was it to, to get this first one out of the way and not feel like it, it was big. I mean, you know, this crowd was unbelievable. Our, our fans are amazing. So, um, you know, to play in front of 30,000 people tonight was amazing. And, and that's great for some guys that weren't in Omaha last year to experience this and, and know what it feels like. It seems like you saw the ball pretty well tonight. Is it something about the batter's eye that's pretty good here? or? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Big League Park, um, you know, big, good backdrop to hit in. Um, Good lighting, you know. Just, you know, yeah. very blessed to to be able to play in a place like this uh, for a school like LSU. So, extremely blessed. So, you guys and UT ended the season together. Now you start the season. Um, you know, there's some powerhouse, you know, guys in this in this tournament with y'all. What do you take from this tournament going forward? And I mean, you guys got a long season ahead of you. So what's your focus right now? Yeah, just taking it a day at a time, a game at a time. Um, not trying to get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we're focused on tomorrow now. We're going to celebrate tonight and then be ready to go tomorrow. How about the job Luke did? Yeah, he's an amazing pitcher. I, I don't know if I have a word to describe it. Um, very calm, cool, and collected on the mound. And, and you know what you're going to get from him, and that's what you're going to get every time. And the consistency, I guess, now that he's shown over three. Oh, yeah. Starts, what, what's he got in him? Yeah, I think he's got a real chance to be the ace of the staff. Um, you know, I know I don't know what Thatcher's plan is, but I, I know he's going to be right right there with them, pushing them. So we got two guys at the top like that pushing each other. We're only going to get better. How important was it to drive um, LeBaron's pitch count up early? It was huge for us. You know, get it to the bullpen and and uh, be able to get to the second and third guy and even the fourth and fifth guy in their bullpen. We had a lot of emotion too, celebrating at home plate after that home run. Where's that come from? Man, I just love playing the game of baseball. Like I said, I'm extremely blessed to be out here. Um, all the glory to God, and, and just I, I, I can't even put it into words. You know, I just kind of blacked out in the moment. And it, was, it was super awesome. <laughs> it seemed like y'all attacked LeBaron Johnson better the second time through. What adjustments you made at the playoffs? Yeah, I think everybody's trying to settle in the game. Their first at bat, you know, a little nervous, big crowd, MLB Stadium. But you know, once we were able to settle in and, and stick stick to our approach, I think we started, you know, being very successful. You feel like you guys made a statement tonight? Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, we're just coming out here and playing baseball every day, and, and you know, it's a 56-game playoff game, so or playoff season, so just keep taking it a day at a time. What usually makes LeBaron so tough to hit? Yeah, he's a big guy, um, and he throws hard, so you got to get started early, and he has a really good off-speed pitches that he locates well, so you have to be able to spit on balls below the zone and, and force him to be up in the zone. Did you hit him with the horns down? I did. Did you expect to hear about it? Probably. <laughs> did you plan on doing that if you were going to do something big? No. Uh, I mean, I, I have, we haven't really come up with a home run celebration yet this year. Um, and I know that's a big deal. And you know they'll be in the SEC next year. So it's just super exciting. What's been different for you guys since Coach kind of gave you that pep talk? you got to get the bats going a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think it's just we've simplified our approach at the plate, not trying to do too much, trusting our talent, trusting our preparation, and just going and taking that a pitch at a time. It's huge, man. I mean, that puts us on the board first. Um, that gives him a great vote of confidence um, and our team some great confidence. And we were out there and able to put him away in the, I think it was a six or a seven. So it felt really good. So, you know, this is the juice box. Y'all play at Alex Box. It's kind of a ramped up version of Alex Box oh, Stadium. Yeah. I mean, you guys could have a crowd like this every day. What would that do for you? It'd be awesome, man. <laughs> Can't wait for this to be a, a part of my life and, and keep doing it at the box this year and hopefully for a long time. Two more. I saw you guys kind of pointing things out yesterday at practice, like the dimensions and stuff. What were you guys looking at and how did that help you today? Uh, we were just trying to uh, get a feel for the part, you know, get our eyes locked in and be ready to go for tonight and, and the rest of the weekend. You ready for the fireworks show? I am. <laughs> I love fireworks. <laughs> <laughs>